Brooklyn Independent Television. I'm always going to be a student to music. My name is Joel Holmes. I am a jazz pianist from Baltimore, Maryland. I've been living in New York City for three years now, Brooklyn, New York. I play jazz piano, but in general I just play music, different styles from gospel to hip-hop, R&B, neo-soul, salsa, um, Afro-Peruvian, and straight-ahead jazz traditional, solo, ragtime music, just a whole lot. I got exposed to jazz at Baltimore School for the Arts High School, and I noticed uh, all the girls like the guys in the jazz band, that was like the cool band. So I just saw it as a freshman. I said, oh, they like, I guess I have to learn how to play jazz. Little did I know I would fall in love with the music itself and I uh, had to teach myself how to play jazz because I was learning classical music in school. Two weeks ago, I was in Chile. And uh, that's like my second home now. And there are over 100 jazz musicians there. And I just found out this trip that there were the first recordings of jazz and original compositions were back in the 1940s. They take the music personal, and I knew that, I saw that similarity, North American jazz, because there's the different styles, you know. So I did a live CD recording for my friend Augustine Moya, saxophone player. And I did um, a lot of little gigs locally, you know, and also a festival down in the south. It was great to have fans, friends, family, people who are hungry for music. The government has sent me around as a jazz ambassador to countries they want to build stronger ties with. They sent us in a program called the Jazz Straight Ahead Rhythm Road. This is part of the Lincoln Center. Sometimes countries that may not be the safest per se, but they, take, they send us out special groups. And uh, we go and spread jazz and learn as well about their cultures. So I've been doing it even without the program. I still go out solo, even if I'm spending my own money for the tickets, because just for the preservation of the music. You know. Well, I just happened to choose East New York as my location. It may be a strange first choice, but actually, when I look outside, it's pretty peaceful. It's nice and safe, and where well, my area is, and very relaxed. I can get away from all the chaos and everything. So, but that chaos is needed as well. You know, that fire and that energy that you feel in Manhattan is serious business. I, there's no energy like it anywhere around the world that I've seen. New York is, well, let's just say Brooklyn is the home of many jazz musicians. We have a little group, we call it the Greenhouse Effect, and basically what we're doing is jamming, working out our ideas that you can't necessarily do at a jam session at night because a lot of people want to play. And you have time limit. We had um, Joe Blacks on the drums, and we had Matt Clifford on the bass. Here we're kind of free to do work on songs that we want to work on, stop, talk, listen to a song, learn it together. So now we're going to have more musicians, horn players and singers come over and join ideas. Then I'm going to have several piano players come over and we do things. Just kind of bring the community tighter in Brooklyn. Basically, I'm learning every day I'm going to be a student for life, no matter how good or bad. Everything from different ways, relationships, uh, traveling so much I get to see a lot of different things. Culture, taste different foods, reactions, all the senses, smell, see, taste, you know. In every different country you just get inspired different ways. The emotions definitely help me write songs. So, you know, a breakup or uh, a death, I may, I may write a song or something like that from that. But when it comes to what styles of music, I love Earth, Wind, Fire, Stevie Wonder, uh, I love Asian music, I like, I like music from all over the world and depending on the magical moment, maybe a jazz song may all of a sudden go to Asia and we all of a sudden get into an Asian thing from China, particular scales or maybe the music 
ask for us to go to Africa. So then we bring out those elements. That's kind of how it works. Those, you get inspired and then in the moment, the music takes you there. And hopefully you have enough experiences to be able to play what the music's asking for. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.